Hi friends, welcome back to Homestead on a Prayer. I'm Jennifer. And as you can see today, we're going to be looking at my growing setup. Now this is really a growing setup on a budget. This is not the ideal situation. I would love to have a great big greenhouse and be able to have all my seedlings outside and have all the room I need, but that's not the reality for me right now. So right now I just have a utility shelf set up in my bedroom with seedlings growing and pretty much just however I could think of to get them to grow. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour of my grow light setup. And then we're going to talk about something really important when it comes to transplanting your seedlings. We're gonna be talking about hardening off plants. We're gonna be talking about why it's important, why you definitely need to do it. And then we're going to talk about how to do it. And we're gonna get started hardening off some of my tomato seedlings today. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and just give you a quick little tour of my grow light setup. All right, so as you can see here, I have a four shelf utility shelf set up with grow lights hooked up into it. And I've just got various trays of seedlings here. So here I've got a bunch of tomato plants. You can see I have some in these red cups. If you watched the tomato up potting video that we did, um, you're probably gonna have actually seen that just about a week ago, but I actually potted it up a couple weeks ago. So anyway, if you've seen that video, you'll remember that I talked about um, the plants that are in these red pots are plants that I'm going to be either giving away or possibly trying to sell. And the plants that are in, let's see, in these little black pots here are the ones that I have chosen to keep for myself. So we've got a whole tray of tomatoes here. Here I've got my tray of flowers. I've got a variety of flowers here. Now you can see that my plants are a little bit stressed. They have kind of overgrown the situation that we have here and they really want to get outside. So that is why we're gonna start hardening off today. So I've got four varieties of nasturtiums here. I've got a little bit of cosmos. I've got some calendula, hollyhocks, and some zinnias. And over here, we went over all the tomato varieties that I have in that tomato up potting video. If you missed that video, I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description so that you can go back and catch it. Down here, I have my herb tray. I've got five different types of basil. We've got a few other things. I've got a random zinnia in there from a spot that didn't sprout. You can see I have a few spots here where I had kind of spotty germination. This is dill and parsley, and those were both old seeds, so I was kind of taking a risk sowing those. So what I did is I went ahead and I bought some more of those from my local nursery. And then over here, we've got more tomatoes. Down here, I've got sweet potatoes. You can see that I have a little corner fan here. Um, one thing, when you're growing seedlings indoors, it's important to... Um, <clears throat> it's important to make sure that they're strong enough to handle eventually being moved outside. And so one way that I do that is I have this fan going, just blowing gently on them. Um, I usually do that for a few hours a day. And over here, I've got all my peppers and there's a couple random tomatoes mixed in. So as you can see, I mean, you can see why we need to harden off today. I mean, look at those tomatoes. They're growing into the grow lights. That is not an ideal situation. And so I really need to go ahead and get these hardened off. It's not past my last frost date yet. And so I'm not going to be able to keep these plants outside yet. But what I can do is I can get them used to being outside. They can be outside during the day and then I can still go ahead and bring them inside at night. So I'm going to grab a tray of these tomatoes. I'm going to meet you outside and we're going to talk about how and why it is so important to harden off our seedlings. Okay, so we're outside on my deck now and you can see I brought up my tomato plants and they're going to start getting their first exposure to the outside right now. So this is going to be their first time experiencing sun. It's their first time um, experiencing real wind. I know I mentioned that I had that fan in my grow light setup, but this is their first time experiencing real unpredictable wind. It's going to be their first time experiencing temperature fluctuations. It's going to be their first time really experiencing uh, real weather. Before I had them growing in a very controlled environment, which is how most people start their seedlings. And that's fine. That's great when they're little. Um, but if you just take these seedlings that have been really babied and um, they're just very fragile and you just throw them outside, plant them in the garden. You say, my last frost date has passed. They're not going to die from frost. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in the garden. They're going to go into shock. They haven't been exposed to all of these unpredictable things that they're going to encounter outside. So what you want to do is you want to acclimate your plants gradually to being outside. That way they don't get, they don't get sunburned. They don't get shocked by extreme heat or cold that they're not used to. Sometimes if you plant a plant outside without really hardening it off well and it shocks, it will end up recovering and being okay but it's most likely going to at least set that plant back and in severe cases it might not recover. So the best thing to do is to avoid that situation in the first place. Now let's take a look at a couple of these tomato plants here. Let me see. 
I don't know if you can see on this leaf here, you see that spot that's a little bit browned and kind of burned looking? We've got another one over here. See that kind of brown, like bleached out spot? That's similar to sunburn. That is my fault because I left them under my grow lights too long. They got too tall and started to grow into my grow lights. But this is a really mild example of what could happen if you put your plants directly out into the bright sunlight. They're not used to it. The sun is a lot stronger than even strong grow lights. And so if you just put them directly out into the sun, the entire plant could turn like this and that can really set your plant back. So when you harden off your plants, you want to gradually acclimate them to all the different things that they're going to face. Now, right now, I do have my plants up here in the sun. That's just really for this video so that I can show you what we're doing. As soon as we're done with the video, I'm going to be putting them under the table, um, which is going to be basically filtered sunlight. The first time they're outside, you do not want to go ahead and put them right in direct sunlight. You want to put them in a shady spot. You want to put them in a uh, filtered light at best. I am using my deck because it's the most convenient for me. If I found a real shady spot in my yard, that would probably be ideal for the plants, but it would be pretty difficult for me to bring them in and out because this hardening off process is going to take at least a week. If you have a week and a half, that's even better. But the idea is to gradually bring them out. So today I brought them outside for the first time. I'm going to leave them outside in the filtered light, the light shade underneath my deck table. I'm going to leave them there for about an hour and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring them inside and that will be it for today. Then tomorrow I'll do the same thing, maybe leave them out for two hours or so. You want to gradually increase the amount of time that you leave them out. Today, they're gonna to be gradually introduced to sunlight. Over the next few days, they'll get more and more sunlight until after a few days, you can leave them out in direct sun. They're still gonna be a little tender to stay outside at night because they're tomato plants, they're warm weather plants, they like heat. And they're used to heat from being in my, in my climate controlled house. And so what I usually do for the first few times that they go outside at night, I'll leave them out until maybe seven o'clock or so. This is gonna, it'll kind of change depending on what your temperatures are gonna be. But, and then I'll leave them outside the next night until I go to bed. And then when we get a really mild night, I'll leave them outside all night. Basically tomato plants really, they'll survive as long as it stays above freezing, but they really don't like it to be below 45. And so I don't like to leave them outside at night, especially the first time until it's well above 45, probably I would say at least 50. And then once they're, in their, once they're out in your garden and they're used to growing their stronger plants, um, then they can handle a little bit more. They can handle more sunlight. They can handle more wind, more fluctuation. But right now, I mean, they're basically, they're basically babies and they just don't have the defenses to be able to handle it. So you'll see right now. Here, I'll show you a close up of this plant here. So you take a look at this. You can see the leaves. You can see how they're very delicate. They're not very thick. Um, in a couple weeks, when my plants are hardened off and we go ahead and plant them outside, I'll show you the difference between the leaves what they look like now and what they, what they looked like then. So your hardening off schedule is really going to vary a lot based on your growing zone, based on your last frost date, based on your individual weather conditions. I just try to just think about the plants and make sure that they are gradually getting exposed to each thing. I would not leave them out in serious heavy rain or anything like that until they are fully acclimated. So that's about all there is to it. If you have any questions about hardening off, please leave a comment below and let me know. I'd also like to hear your experience. Now, I did mention that I am not growing in a greenhouse. I'm growing inside my house. Um, so if you're growing plants in the greenhouse, they're gonna have a little bit more exposure. Like they'll be exposed to sunlight right from the beginning. It's not quite the same as being out in the direct sunlight, but they'll still be a little bit more exposed. And so if you do have experience growing in a greenhouse, I would love to hear from you and hear how that changes, how you approach the hardening off process. If anyone has any other tips to add, um, as I mentioned in most of my videos, I'm growing in Connecticut. And so if you're growing in a different part of the country, your growing conditions and your growing re requirements are going to be completely different than mine. So please feel free to leave a comment, leave your experience below. And I encourage everyone, especially new gardeners, to go ahead and check the comments. I'm not an expert. Um, I've been growing for a few years and I've been just learning as I go. And there's so much that I have not learned yet. And so basically all I'm doing, I'm not giving you a definitive how-to. I'm just sharing my experience and I'm just telling you what's worked for me. But what's worked for me is not going to be the same as what works for everybody. So please feel free to check the comment section and get some, get some more perspectives, get more perspectives from other gardeners. And um, I'm sure there will be people there who've been growing a lot longer than me, who have a lot more experience and more wealth of knowledge than I do. I encourage you to try growing plants from seed. It's really not that hard. The hardening off process is 
may sound intimidating, but once you've done it, it's really not that big of a deal. Honestly, the hardest part for me is that I get kind of sick of carrying trays in and out of my house. But except for that, it's really very easy. And so I definitely encourage you to give it a try. And I wish everyone all the best of luck with growing the season. And I'm really excited to share this journey with you. Bye, I'll see you next time.